Hey, welcome back. So we're heading away from Bogos del Toro today towards Panama City because we have mail waiting for us there. We're super far from the city, so we're gonna make a couple stops to break up the long drive on the way there. It's probably an accident, you know, we've been in Central America long enough. Or a protest. It looks like a protest or something, huh? Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Ah, uh, ¿qué pasa? Oh, oh todo inundido. Uh. ¿Es como una protesta o una manifestación o? Oh, claro. I just met those people. We know them from the group chat that we're in of some uh, Mexico and further south that we were actually the founding members of that group chat back in Mexico. Like there were nobody traveling. And yeah. so these other two vans we were traveling with, Juan Carlos and uh, these Germans, we, um, we started that group chat and then just started adding people, adding people, adding people. And we just saw those people got added recently. Yeah. And they were like, oh, you're that van with the painting, right? Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they really like to dive, I guess. So I told oh, them, Panama yes. Dive School yes. is the spot. I'm so glad they get to go there and support that business. Yeah, that's so awesome. We started that group chat like over a year ago because we thought, there's no one else out here. And I'm so glad that we found so many people to add to that group chat now. How about that protest there? There was wow. quite a flood and I guess they want the town to build a bridge instead of, you know, you have a road with a culvert, which I think is oh. Alcantarilla. That's what the poster was. Mm -hmm. And the culvert, you know, gets clogged. So they say, hey, we need a bridge here. We're, we're done with this culvert. Yeah. But, you know, I met those other people in the line. These guys were talking to me, like, trying to talk to me about Lisa. And it was at first an old man. I opened the window and he was like, he's like, how much did your dog cost? All in Spanish. Like, how much does your dog cost? And I said, how much? No, she's not for sale. And they all started laughing. Ooh, feels good waking up here in the mountains, nice and cold. You wanna go for a walk, Grimmy? What? Yeah, we up here now. Just right from Bocas del Toro. Quick one and a half hour drive. You can be in these mountains up here. Nice cold temps. Uh, this is just like a side road that goes to a reserve. We went a bit farther last night. It ended up being some antenna towers, epic view. But then the roads got sharply steep. And we're like, well, we don't really want to go downhill. <laughs> So we basically just drove from Bocas del Toro all the way over here to El Valle. It's a really cool little town. Um, we're actually only at a Mirador so far. Um, another 20 minutes and we're gonna be in town. We're gonna do a really nice hike here. It should be about three hours long. 
all in all, a very nice drive here. Epic. Yeah, it's a nice spot. Beautiful mountains. I'm excited to see which mountain we're gonna be climbing. Here's the huge crater with the town, and then look over here. This is like where the lava would escape. Ah, and there's the ocean. We always see the ocean in Panama. Hey, so we thought we'd share with you guys the story of today. This is our first full lockdown since Mexico, which feels, you know, a bit trapped. <laughs> but we're just having a little off day, getting some work in. On our way to Panama City, we came up here into this beautiful volcano crater valley city, Anton Valley. It's really gorgeous. But after we paid to stay at this hostel so we could get a shower and fill the water, that's when they told us by the way, you can't leave tomorrow. There's a complete lockdown from last night at 10 p.m. till tomorrow at 4 a.m. So we can leave tomorrow early morning and get to Panama City, which is still two or three hours away. And we're kind of booking it there to pick up some mail that we got sent there accidentally. A bit of a detour, but I'm kind of excited for a big city. You know, no other city in Central America has a capital with so many skyscrapers. Uh, there's tons to do there. We're gonna check out the canal. But yeah, for now, we're just kind of stuck here. We came into this cool little hostel called Bodhi Hostel. And you know, it's a really nice vibe here. We got internet that reaches the van, showers, water, toilets, everything you could need. And it's raining anyway. This rainy season's starting to get to me. <laughs> I think in the capital, you know, you can do a lot of indoor things, which will help. So the reason why we came to Anton Valley was to do a hike called India Dormida. Um, it's a hike up a little mountain. It should be about three hours long. So yeah, I just thought it would be a nice break on the Pan American on our way to Panama City and accidentally got stuck here for the day. But it's okay, like we, ha we have work to do anyway, so might as well get it done and... Apparently this will be every Sunday for a month. And it depends on what area you're in. So Panama City, there's no lockdown. There's a nationwide uh, curfew that's I think from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. But the strict lockdowns are per district. So here in Anton Valley and some other areas, now we know where to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> We also follow them on Instagram too. Yeah, it was kind of wild because only a couple of days ago in Borcos del Toro, we got to go to the first opening of a bar that's there. <laughs> and now we're sitting at a hostel and we just wanted to take a shower and fill up the water. And they were like, nope, you're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> but all their food here is vegetarian, which is it's pretty super great. Nice. Family. Yeah. And the van is getting top to bottom cleaned. Yeah, which is really nice. There's no more sand in here from all that beach time. And we did all the laundry. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're excited to get to Panama City and back on the road again tomorrow. We decided to go through this bookshelf, clean it out. And we realized that this book, we're done with this book. Overlanding Mexico and Central America. We've been. What? We've overlanded. <laughs> Don't go there. It's not safe, you'll die. <laughs> this is a great book, but we're proud to have outlived it. Yep. Back on the road again. That hostel was a really good time, though. It was fun to hang out with more travelers, and yeah, we heard a lot of stories about places to go, and yeah, it was perfect. We ended up playing games there. They were super nice people. You know, I won the UNO tournament, won a beer out of that, and that was great. But yeah, we ended up, uh, you know, going back to the van when they all were having a communal dinner and, you know, organizing some stuff in the van here. But then we headed back to the hostel later and hung out some more. But we need to hit up Panama City, so here we go. 
I think this is it, huh? Yeah, this is our first view of the Panama Canal here. Whoa! Panama. Huge bridge, already tons of ships everywhere. Wow, lots of oh, ships. What? Oh, There's nice. the Pacific over on my side. That would cross the country there. It does look pretty low. There's like a couple of hills. It's a bit grueling to make this thing. A lot of people died. Yeah. We're going to learn a lot about this canal. Yeah, I'm excited to, to learn a lot about the canal. But it made Super. a very good steady income stream for the canal. So I'm sure a lot of more lives were enriched. Oh, yeah. there's buoys like that's where the big boats have to stay within that part right there. And there is probably at least wow. 20 enormous boats out there. Wow. You can tell there's sandbars on the side, they've dredged the center. Oh, and here's our first view of Panama City. Holy too. moly, it's enormous! Size skyscrapers everywhere. Jeez. See the, the one that looks like a fin? Or like a sail? That's the one I've always pictured whenever I think of Panama City. Yeah, there's some but really... There's even bigger ones. I, I don't think I've seen the skyline since they've built other buildings. Yeah, because I see huge buildings way over there. Oh my and then gosh. this hill, I think this is the hill where there's those monkeys up on it. Yes. It's on hill. And one of the first spots over here is like a really good skate park I want to check out. Getting used to driving in a new country is one thing, but getting used to driving in the big city is definitely a challenge. But we're pretty impressed here with all these skyscrapers. Yeah. Apparently we sent our mail to one of these skyscrapers over here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vegan sushi place that we were thinking about checking out later. It looks like the best vegan place in Panama City. Almost every sushi place has vegan sushi, but I've never been to a solely vegan sushi place. So I'm super excited about that. And also there should be dog parks. Danny was really stoked to go to the uh, skate park today. So I'm really feeling this Panama City trip. We'll check out Panama City to the fullest. Got this package here. New registration and two credit cards. So we went all the way across the country <laughs> to pick up this mail. <laughs> Hey, by the way, on Wednesdays, you can send FedEx 50% off to other countries from here. So, so you want to go try the vegan sushi? Yeah, let's do it. Let's try the vegan sushi. red ocean roll which was tomato that the chef marinated to taste like tuna which was sick along with smoked tofu some coconut cream cheese and then we also had the smoke on the water roll which was smoked tofu they were super duper tasty and then along with that we had the jackfruit bao buns oh my gosh what an amazing lunch i'm super full do you want to go? Yeah, we're going to head over to the skate park now. So they must have just made the road around the old town so the traffic's not so intense over there. But I don't think I've ever seen this traffic pattern in the city. No, yeah, they usually don't jut out over the, <laughs> the ocean and then come back in. Whoa. But hey, in Panama, I guess they got that canal going. So they're like, we don't need to just be conventional. Yeah, we don't need to be uh, like held back by land. We can build anywhere we want. And there's <laughs> there's the, the canal, yeah. Dang, well, we're getting rained out here. One thing the big city offers is a huge indoor mall. Rain don't matter. 
Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna ride my bike in there and grind all that stuff. <laughs> but luckily, before the rain started, we I let some Rita run around in this uh, little little park area. So so she has some energy out because we have been driving all day. What a beautiful spot for a skate park, as always. Oh my gosh. Sometimes they pick some sketchy neighborhoods to put skate parks in, but this one's pretty cool. You're right by the water. It's a nice new park. Exercise equipment over there. There's a little um, playground, basketball court. Nice. Oh wow, look at this. The Panama Canal, otra vez. Good thing it's not a toll bridge because we got turned around. <laughs> oh well, it's a pretty view. Bram loves Nori. Wow, so we got our neat tabs on here because we picked up the mail. Not a bad spot. Skyline. <laughs> Good morning. Today we're gonna go get our insurance for renewing our TIP. You have to bring your passport, your registration, and $25 to get the new insurance. For and a lot of patience. Yeah, and a lot of patience. For another month of insurance. And then we'll be able to renew our TIP for another month. This is the only country that you only get one month whenever you enter for your car and we get three months for our visa so it's a little weird but luckily a lot of people have said that it's easy to get a new TIP so hopefully we can go and get it today and if not today then tomorrow well here's the insurance spot parking's a bit rough so we're gonna have to tag team it All right, well, thanks for watching the van, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we only had to give her the current insurance. I just handed it to her, figured it'd be easy. Um, the current PIP, the vehicle import permit, that is. And then my license and my passport. Our fake ones that we carry around, at least. The copy and... ones. <laughs> yeah, they're just a copy. She made it at Kinko's. Must have been a funny day in Kinko's. <laughs> So, and then pay $25, you go over to the cash register, you come back, give her the receipt, and boom, she gave us two copies. Oh, great, so we, okay, so, but we still have to get our registration copy. And now we have to do the main event, which is the new temporary import permit. Yay, I'm so glad we're getting this done. I was kind of worried about it, not knowing where we're gonna be, but I'm glad we're in Panama City, and Hopefully it's easy. It should be a pretty simple process. Yeah, thanks for figuring it all out, babe. Oh yeah, anytime. So, we have to wear pants to this government agency and a shirt with sleeves, even though it's like 90 degrees outside. <laughs> okay, we're looking clean for the government. Yeah, so she said we might have to do it the day after it expires because it expires on a Sunday. I was quite adamant I do not like that idea, but nonetheless, bureaucracy in progress and the wheels turn. The triumphant exit. So the van is good for another month in Panama. Wow, so that only took like 20, maybe less than 20 minutes. Yeah. Such a good time. <laughs> so in there, the lady said, oh, you probably have to come back Monday after it expires. And I, you know, tried to get into it with her a bit, really convince her like, they could take our car, you know? Yeah. And then I'm saying, Oh, well, this is three days before because it ends on a weekend. This Friday will be one day, Thursday, Wednesday's today. And after all that, 
you know she's like well I'll check in the system I was like thank you so much at first she didn't even want to do it <laughs> but after she goes through everything she goes look when you come back to do this don't come on the weekend you're gonna need to have a new insurance policy and so she was trying to send us away and I said oh here it is <laughs> <laughs> We were playing the game and we won. We didn't need any copies by the way, so she did all the copies for us. So that's like the one thing that everybody says you need. And we were all good. We did get extra copies of our new TIP and we got mailed new registration from Washington State. So we got copies of those, but that was just for us to keep in our glove box. If we get to a police checkpoint, it'll be easier. Let's get out of here. Oh, yes. Thanks so much for joining us on our first look at Panama City. We'll see you guys next time for some more action in the big city.